All right, so as you can tell, the plans for the build have changed drastically um, initially. So I'll go up here. Um, initially, I, I started off running the Endura Max, the Minn Kota Endura Max, uh, 55 pound thrust. I ran that on the on the front and I didn't like it. I didn't like the sway, it was kind of weird. So I put it on the back and I was like, oh, I can just roll out with this on the back. Um, that was when the Minn Kota was on the back. But then <laughs> I got out in the water and I'm like, man, I really want to go explore more and like go further out without the worry of like batteries and all that kind of stuff. So I went ahead, bit the bullet, got me the Mercury 3.5. Um, I haven't even started this thing yet, man. I just finished the build because when I when I purchased this, I was like, okay, if I'm going all the way in like <clears throat> like this, I'm probably not going to want to invest into a bigger boat just because, you know, I spent uh, good money on this. And, you know, with this, I can go the places I would with a bigger boat. So let's invest into the Bass Raider. Now, this is where the deck and the floor and everything comes into play. Um, I think the guy's name on YouTube that I got the idea from, his name is Max Fishing vids or something like that I'm, I'm not quite sure but um yeah i got a guy i got a, I, I got the idea from a guy on youtube um he did a deck very similar to this one but except he had a pedestal right here um and um he uh his was a little bit shorter um for me uh i'm 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 a bigger guy so i wanted more space so I made mine a little bit longer. I think his was 31 inches long. Um, we have the same width, but his was 31 inches long. So I made mine uh, 39 inches long. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, the idea that he had was to put these PVC pipes um, uh, down here for ride holders and man, let me tell you, man, that's a great idea. <laughs> that, that works really good. Um, I'm actually waiting for um, a little tie-down thing that I can strap across on this side and, you know, be like a bungee cord and I can, I'm good. I mean, I got six rod holders right there. Um, I actually did mine a little bit differently. I put these uh, rod holders from Walmart, uh, Ozark Trail ones. Um, I put those, I mounted those onto the front so that I control. So that should be cool. Another big thing I did was I went ahead and drilled a scuffer hole. Um, so that's, that's, uh, that's a pretty big deal. So, um, that was actually my first hole in the boat and I was like, all right, well I'm in here now, but it's really cool because, you know, I got like storage underneath of here, you know, from, uh, <clears throat> cause I ran this, I ran the uh the bottom floor i ran that all the way to the front um so you know that's pretty cool and um and it gives me uh gives me storage underneath there this is pretty this is pretty neat uh this like it's like a a little hatch up front so that's pretty awesome uh you know i can tuck my paddle down underneath of there uh, it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, what I'm eventually going to do is I'm going to put a, a fish finder up here on the front somewhere. And I'll put my 12 volt for the fish finder up here. And uh, typically what I like to do, like what I'm going to do with this battery, this battery is for my trolling motor. It's a 20, 27. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to, um, <clears throat> this battery box, I'm just going to, uh, I might just drill the battery box onto the floor so that it doesn't move. But truth be told, this thing is heavy, man. I can't see it going anywhere, man. But, um, you know, we'll see. And plus, the seat is like, it's barely touching. So when I sit, the seat, you know, it touches this and it kind of holds it in place. So I kind of like that. It's like kind of perfect. So I probably won't have to drill that down. Um, but up here, I'll probably make a little, I don't know, maybe, a, I don't know, something. Um, just a little, I might just put a little block right here just to hold the battery in place so it doesn't go fumbling around. Um, but yeah, definitely I'm gonna mount the fish finder up here. 
And I didn't want to go with the with the pedestal seat because I just like the space. It's just a ton of space just to stand, walk around, and you know do what I do. I ordered the um, man. I'm going all the way in. I ordered the uh, man. What is that thing called? Oh, man, the um, it's like the pedal king or something like that. Um, but it's a foot control pedal that like has a rod. And I'll be making a video on this when I get it. It's gonna have a rod that comes up here, connects to the shaft of the trolling motor, and it has like, you can run your wiring through it. So it has like a button on the foot control so you can run it like that, or it has a switch also so, so that the trolling motor is permanently on. But you move the foot control like this, it'll like turn that like that, or the other way it'll turn it like that. So that's gonna be super sweet, especially when you know, I'm standing up there, I'm fishing. It's like hands-free, you know? Um, so that's gonna be awesome. Uh, man, I mean, I got it. I got this thing perfect, man. I, I couldn't really ask for much more. I keep all my tackle in, in this, in this little, little uh, Plano, I think it's Plano. Yeah, little Plano case thing, but you know, I don't carry a ton, ton of tackle. Just, just enough to get done what I wanna get done. I don't, I don't need to carry a whole lot. So, there's some, you know, some plastics down here and stuff, but that should be cool. Um, this is just what I keep, you know, my lunch or whatever, drinks, whatever, all that stuff. These coolers are awesome, by the way. Grizzly soft coolers, highly recommend, man. These things are freaking awesome. Um, so, yeah. Let's see, um, what I have planned uh, like I said, I told you about the uh, the foot pedal. Um, I think I'm gonna run a ruler that runs like right here. Um, I just don't know. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and get a ruler that I can screw in on both sides. Uh, well, not a ruler, but you know, measuring something to measure fish with um, my catch. So I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, foot pedal. I'm thinking I'm gonna met, uh, mount the the fish finder like right here right there um so that should be cool also i didn't even mention uh sorry <laughs> i off centered my my seat a little bit as you can tell um because this is on the left and it just makes it a lot more comfortable um that little bit of a of a uh of a distance of a difference it, it makes a it makes a big difference um and uh like this battery box it's heavy as hell but it's gonna come it's going to be as far as it can to the right, just to kind of, you know, counter, counter at me sitting a little bit to the right. Uh, I'm sorry, the battery box is going to be a little bit to the left, and I'm going to be sitting a little bit to the right if I'm facing forward in the boat. You get it. <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean, I'm really excited about it, man. This thing, this thing is coming along really well. Um, I mean, I wasn't expecting to go into this, this level. Uh, I just really wanted to, I actually, my initial plan was just to get the seat because those, these are just a lot more comfortable. And then I had a, uh, I had a yoga mat down here in the bottom. I didn't even have a deck or nothing. Uh, like I said, I was running the trolling mower. Now, <laughs> let's just say these things are really easy to, to, uh, to get invested into, but man, it's, it's super fun, man. It was already fun, like getting out on the water with just the trolling motor and the boat and, you know, the, the bare minimum. But now, dude, this is about to be like super awesome, man. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, if you guys got any more ideas of things you would want me to do, want me to do to my build, just let me know. Um, but man, uh, I'm beyond satisfied with what I'll probably have to do. I saw a lot of guys doing this. It's make like a support for this that runs like over here and straps into the, where the handles are. Uh, I like to keep the handles, so I might put the handles on that actual mount or something like that, just because the handles are cool for when my trailer comes in, because I ordered one of those too, because <laughs> it's gonna be way too heavy with all this stuff on it. I, I need a trailer for sure. Um, but yeah, to be able to strap this to you know the trailer i really like that system so that would take care of the back and then 
Um, you know, the trailer will obviously have a have a little winch thing on the front. Um, so I don't know. We'll figure it out when when the time comes, and uh, you know, I'll adjust as necessary as far as the trailer goes. Um, but yeah, super satisfied. Um, here's my my Pelican Bass Raider, updated Pelican Bass Raider, and she's sweet. I'm ready to use her, man. All right, you guys be safe. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff.